Hi, I'm Alex Panzarella. I specialize in the ITEM product here at ServiceNow. And today I'll be giving a brief overview of the software asset manager product, as well as go into detail with the software spend detection capabilities. So what I wanna first set the stage was really the value proposition of ServiceNow. So there's really two things with the ServiceNow SAM module is savings and risk reduction. So you're able to save money with ServiceNow SAM by optimizing license configurations, reducing overlapping software, and identifying and reclaiming low usage. Now we think about you know, reclamation, this is where you're reaching out to the SaaS portal or to the end user device and actually removing that installer access. Now the other value proposition of software asset management is risk reduction. ServiceNow SAM can calculate complex compliant positions. So this is your Oracles, your Microsofts, your VMwares, all of those publishers that really require an expert or some sort of partner to interpret that licensing. So with ServiceNow SAM, we try to automate and add some logic in the system to really assist you with that. Another capability as part of ServiceNow SAM that we wanted to highlight is around the means to identify software that pose a security risk by seeing if they're end of life or on the restricted software list. And so we're focusing on SAM today, where it provides the ability where it identifies end of life information, but also to even on the hard rest of management product does similar capabilities where it identifies end of life for the, that particular hardware asset. So maybe you have an PowerEd server that is becoming end of life, we'd be able to identify that. And then we can even link that asset to the underlying application so we can see if an application's at risk because the underlying asset's end of life. And the last one I wanted to talk about under risk reduction is really around identifying software that is purchased outside the normal procurement means to really ensure that your processes are being used. This is where we detect unmanaged software. So we'll actually dive into that last outcome around identifying shadow IT, because with ServiceNow SAM spend detection, we can reduce cost by consolidating software products with that same similar functionality. So the example would be maybe I have Microsoft SQL Server and I have Oracle database software both deployed in my environment. Our system would be able to detect that, oh, we have two different products of database software, so we should consolidate them to get a better discount. The second means what spend detection offers is the ability to reinforce company purchasing policies and also to identify unmanaged software. So this is where we can see if someone goes out and buy software using their company credit cards. As we're on the topic of software spend detection, let's jump in the instance and actually see an example. So when I navigate to the software spend detection module, part of SAM, I can see all my publishers that I have expense and accounts payable information. Now this data is being brought in from your expense system or general ledger, just a export. And when we import in the system, we can actually see different types of software purchases. So as you can see, we're, we're spending a total of $6 million as part of this export. And that $500,000 of the 6 million is actually being unmanaged. So that's software that's unaccounted for. As soon as I select the show unmanaged software only tab, I can see that the two publishers that are not being managed is Oracle and Autodesk. So if I go ahead and select Autodesk, I can see here that one product is AutoCAD, which is $100,000, and the other product, Inventor, is not being managed as well. And if I look in the bottom, I can actually see the, the transactions that are being brought in to better understand how it's not being managed. So I can see that somebody maybe went out and purchased this on their credit card, and they listed it under office supplies. And when they import this in the system, our machine learning normalization actually looks at that transaction and first identifies that, hey, it's software. And two, it actually identifies what type of product and manufacturer it is. So with that information, we can actually compare against our existing data in the SAM module to see if it's unmanaged and if it's not. This was a quick overview of the SAM solution. But as a recap, the IFTM module brings the ability to manage all of your assets within one platform. This allows your organization to easily track assets from the time it's requested in the service portal, all the way through the disposal of that asset or software license. The centralization also can help in things like data quality and breadth of data, 
which really allows you to make better decisions overall. Right? By having all of this data on the ServiceNow platform, the SAM module can perform all these different savings opportunities that wouldn't be possible, say, if it were some sort of siloed solution. And from a functionality standpoint, ServiceNow SAM offers software normalization, which takes all of that raw data and really puts into a structured format to easily be used. And this makes things like compliance and optimization use cases really quick and complete. Something else like you know, software spend detection also does the same thing by identifying IT spend that isn't being managed to ensure all expenses and risks are accounted for. And lastly is time to value. Right? By having ITSM and hardware asset management already in place, you can quickly get value out of the SAM product because the majority of the required data is already there. There's no new net new integrations that can be made. It's really just going over to the module and installing the plugin. And so in summary, the ServiceNow SAM module is really a great vehicle to generate savings and reduce risk for your IT organization, especially around utilizing software spend detection to identify that shadow IT.